reacting mm -hmm. to national team squads that have been announced. Oh, boy. France, Germany, and the Netherlands have Netherlands provisional squad, squad, but we can get the drill of who is going to Euro 2024. Starting yeah. with France, because we, I want to say, starting with France, but I wanted to say this before. Odds mm -hmm. checker, the favorites to win the Euros, we got in 10th, Denmark, 9th, Croatia, 8th, mm -hmm. The Netherlands, <laughs> seventh, Belgium, sixth, Italy, fifth, Spain, fourth, Portugal, I disagree, <laughs> third, Germany, uh -huh. second, France, and the favorites to win the Euros for the bookies, England currently. It's, woo I don't know if I agree or disagree with these top 10, but it's just, just for the people to get, um, uh, sp uh, get a, sh a spot get them all buttered up exactly I i'm i'm gonna say it right now i don't i don't think england's the favorite no so when you're 2024 no. that defense but like that defense i know that gareth southgate hasn't announced uh the roster but we can already and you're expecting some surprises i know when we were talking offline mm -hmm. but that defense that defense is scaring me i mean that the, the fullbacks i know you've got kieran trippier who's healthy i know you've got walker. trent alexander arnold uh now healthy you've got kyle walker um there there are it's similar concerns. Who they bring at center back, who they bring in depth is going to be really, Jared really interesting mm -hmm. um, to me. And I hope they bring Jared Branthwaite. Yes, uh, that's another kind of sh – do I think he was close to the team of the season? Hell no. But do I think that um, he deserves a shout uh, along with the Jordan Pickford for providing a, a whole lot of um, – Yeah, What's he the word? Pickford Consistency really well. and – yeah, and, and toughness. Uh, to the back line and what was another weird, actually pretty dang good season for Everton. If mm -hmm. you actually take yeah, off all the point deductions, sure. they would have been pretty pretty dang good, at least compared to last season. I'd right? like to see, um, in, for England, year 2024, I'd like to see Breathwaite go because he knows really well what Pickford wants in front of him. And yeah. I'd like to see Maino because I think he's ineffable to be in future Euros and World Cup. So have him learning. Yeah, well. So I'd like to see those two. I think they've deserved for what they've done in the Premier League. Adam Morton would be really uh, bold, but who knows? Yep. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> and you've, you've, got, you've got Kane and Watkins, right, that are going. And I know Kane missed the final game of the Bundesliga season. Mm -hmm. uh, so he ends his first Bundesliga season with zero trophies but 36 goals to his name. Um, I do need to ask you, though, I mean, mm. you're gonna, probably going to bring a third striker there. And that striker, as you get deep into the Euros, probably will actually play some. Um, beyond Ollie Watkins, who else are you bringing beyond? I, and I know this is more of a depth play, but Dom Solanke, mm -hmm. Ivan Tony, or Callum Wilson. I think he call he was going to call up Ivan Tony, but I would have picked yeah. Solanke. I think Dominic Solanke is going to be the biggest snub for this England squad. I hope Maino won't be a, yeah. it won't be a snub. And I hope Cole Palmer, because I still see people online saying he's going to be snubbed. That no, would be a ridiculous decision that would put Southgate out the, out the door immediately for sure if he doesn't win the Euros. So sure. I think it's going to be sure. the strikers of England. Ivan Tony, Ollie Watkins, and Harry Kane. But I would have put Solanke ahead of Ivan Tony, personally, well, in my and, opinion. And let's, regardless, right, of Cole Palmer going or not, we do have to probably say to everybody right gareth southgate is likely out the door if he doesn't win this correct i think so i mean that's regardless mm -hmm. right regardless of selection i think it's kind of one of those things well if we lose another final or if we lose previous to the final for well, sure i think it um, depends on how we're, they we're moving play. On. on the way they play too okay. if they play in a dominant way and then they lose to france in the final game I don't think he's really out for sure, but I do think that the way they've showed that they play with Gary Southgate, if they play the same yeah. way, yeah, he's for sure going to leave. If I see the same well, England team playing with Brazil in Euro 2024, I think he's going to leave at the end, yes. so What about uh, Eng to Serbia with England? <laughs> uh, Graham Potter with England? Who knows? Uh, I think well, there's a lot know, of but choices. Serbi, but still, get, get, yeah. get a little Italian, uh, a little Italian flow You're in ever since Fabio Capello. The coffin Come already on. made. Let's wait and see. I am. <laughs> Let's wait and see. I am, man. I, I'm just it. feeling it. I, I, I feel for England fans. I'm just kind of looking. I, I know I'll get. I, I don't but mind France. getting slaughtered in this one. I, I just think. Mm -hmm. I think England very clearly. It's going to be that. Obviously, how how dominant dominant that front six is right 
and um, and whether or not that that depth can hold out in defense. Uh, but it will be key for me. It, it's time for some young guys to come in. I don't know. Like, do you bring a Mark Gahey uh, back from injury? Probably not. No. Are you bringing Lewis Brent Dunk, Lights. who I feel like has lost lost a right? Jared Branthwaite. So it really comes down to whether or not Gareth Southgate sees what we and see. And I see the right, group Alex? C. I think in Euro 2024 in Group C, England will be first. They have Serbia, Denmark, yeah. and Slovenia. I think England's going to be passing first, even though Denmark and Serbia can be tough. But Foden, Kane, Jude Bellingham, seeing all these names, world-class names, they're ha they have to be favorites with this road to the final. Then let's see if it happens in Germany. But let's France, see. we do know their squad mm -hmm. right now. And I think France are going to play with a front wow. three of Turam. Mbappe and Barcola. I'm going to see more in the friendlies, but wow. I think this is how they're going to have their team with Griezmann at the back, Kamavinga, and Chouameni. I think this is the setup, most likely setup, that we will see in the first game for France. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I think it, once again, we do this all the time, right? And I don't have a full list in front of me, but I'm oh. sure you guys can uh, let I've us know one. in the comments section. I've got one. You could build an 11. Mm -hmm. You could build an 11 out of France's absentees, right? <laughs> and True. that would compete at Euros. Um, and obviously, seeing as good of a season my, as Michael Olise has had, um, compared to what Bradley Barcola brings, um, I, I feel for Michael Olise. I feel like he deserves to be there. Um, but at the same time, uh, he's not. He's not going. And up front, to bring... Um, you know, someone other than like an Alexander Lacazette or a Jean-Philippe Mateta as kind of your deep, deep, deep striker no. option. Um, kind of kind of tough to see as well for me. But hey, it, it's a strong team and it's a team that has every every bit of a chance no. as England as Mateta. winning it. I Although I'm going to say it. And Colomani ahead of Mateta, even though Glasner's <laughs> doing wonders. <laughs> Colomani. <laughs> I understand for PSG what he's done lately, but the dressing room knows right. he's been in that locker room no, the, in the final. I, and even, and there's another thing too, Bretson. The Champ called up 25 players. He could have called up one more. He could have called up one more, and he didn't because yeah. I think he knows the environment in this locker room. It's got to be locked in, and all these players. It's the last dance of an Angolo Cante, of a Griezmann, of a Giroud, and I think this locker room have the most chance to win Euro 2024. And I'm sorry for my yeah. colleagues not to be there. I would have loved to have seen but, it personally, but Deschamps knows the group better than me. Yeah, and and hey, Bradley Barcola is going to take this opportunity, and uh, I think he's going to knock it out of the park. I think he's going to do really, mm -hmm. really well for this, which unfortunately likely further cements uh, the, I wouldn't say impossibility that Michael Olise does break in uh, over time. Obviously not in the Euros, but over time. Uh, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, Bradley present. Barcola, the Warren future. Zaire Emery, mm -hmm. 18 years old, man, getting to the call up <laughs> exactly. uh, with the possibility of maybe even taking the field next to an Angolo Conte. I mean, that, that is crazy. And I'll be I'll be very honest. I have not been watching Al Etihad this year. He's been. barely been in Saudi Arabia for a year. Uh, can somebody tell me? Has he I've been, been up been to? He's been good. He's okay, been playing good. really good. Right. Okay, Karim Benzema cool. has not been phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Jota hasn't been phenomenal for sure. Gallardo as a manager has been having some poor decisions. But N'Golo Kante being in this French national team is totally deserved. It's the first time in two years since the 3rd of June of 2022. And I'm for sure Crazy. think he's going to be immense for France in Euro 2024. With Zaire Emery right. learning next to him. With a Kamavinga. With a Fofana which is quite an mm. underrated midfielder in my view that I really like and could go to the Prem, who knows. And yep. yes, Griezmann, the veteran. Griezmann, the engine of France, will remind people why he is a world-class player and the all-time goal scorer of Atletico de Madrid. When Griezmann retires, he will be perceived as a football legend, one of the best players yeah. in this last decade in football. So it didn't yeah, work then, out at Barca, but it worked out for France. <laughs> Yeah, and then he'll continue to be a legend on Football Manager. Because ah! apparently he loves that game. Uh, <laughs> maybe he's and I, lo be a coach. I love that he loves that game. He could be a coach. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Or jo he'll join the development team. For all we know, he's got, you know, expert coding skills or something. Uh, is it? But I didn't know. N'Golo Conte, it, it, is, mm -hmm. it is bold, right? I mean, for Deschamps to call somebody that, that he had every right or every ability to call N'Golo Conte before this. Mm. But. You're calling the 25 of 26 players, and you call N'Golo Conte after you haven't seen him for two years. 
No, Obviously, you've watched him. Exactly. Club. He's seen him. But, like, <laughs> all the Nations League games, everything mm-hmm. in between. I know the logistics are a little bit different uh, when you're coming from Saudi Arabia, potentially. But um, that it, that is it, – it's a locker room thing. It's kind of like we can't do wrong with – in Golo Kante here. So, and you're right. That's not even really the story. The story is going to be Chuameni. It's going to be Kamavinga. And I love that you did give Yusuf uh, Fofana a shout out because he's been immense for Monaco the second half of the season to get them back into Champions League football for the mm-hmm. first time in a while. A little exactly. while. Not a long time, but a while. Exactly. Um, so, once again, France is stacked. It's just whether or not these, the, the old guys up front, if you will, just kidding, but like Griezmann, <laughs> Giroud, whether or not these guys can can hold court again for a long, grueling, it's, expanded it, Euro tournament. It could be the last dance of Didier. Did, did, it could be the last dance of Didier Deschamps with this French France national team. Okay, so yeah. players like Kante, Griezmann, veterans that Giroud that were really good, they could be mm-hmm. thinking it's the last time they could be selected if Zinedine Zidane. Becomes the French national team manager, some changes could happen, and one of them could be Giroud, Kanté, players like this not being called up anymore. So, and the last well, thing, obviously, is Kylian Mbappé. Best chance mm-hmm. to win the Ballon d'Or is by winning Euro 2024. The the all-time goal scorer in a campaign of Euro 2024, I think it's Platini with nine goals scored. Mm. So, Mbappé, he can surpass that and definitely b- become the top goal scorer ever in one campaign of Euro 2024, and then then win the Ballon d'Or. That is a road path that could happen. Yeah. So that makes it all he, so he, special. <laughs> and Giroud he does LAFC, need the... oh my days. <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, no, man. It's, it's a, that's a good one. Obviously, that uh, perpetuates the retirement league type of situation. You could have come on. an MLS player, Giroud, mm-hmm. winning the World mm-hmm. Cup. So that's another thing oh. to be hyped up to watch the, LAFC. <laughs> the Euros, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey, we've already had one win the World Cup, technically, no? Exactly, uh, exactly. But, uh, yeah, now we could have the Euros, and he's also a damn good-looking man, too. Uh, he's going to fit right in in Los Angeles, I think. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, but I do have to say, um, <laughs> Kylian Mbappe, uh, you agree with me, I'd imagine, that he should probably let people know where he's going. No. Previous to the Euros starting? Uh, yes, or are you going to wait until the end? I think he has to let... No, not he has to. But if I was Kylian Mbappé, I would announce mm-hmm. where I'm going after the Champions League final. He cannot take the spotlight yeah. off the team and off this team effort of Real Madrid. And I think the locker room wouldn't be... Well, that's like, true. It's not like they would be bothered, but they would be with a grain of salt with it. So right. I think it's after the, annu- after the Champions League game, he will announce that he's going to Real Madrid. I think. Well, you never know. Somebody like uh, Rodrigo or uh, one of those guys might feel threatened and might drop a Champions League final hat trick just to say, bring it on, Kylian Mbappe. I think Let's all go. three will start. I think Rodrigo Vini and oh, Kylian yeah. Mbappe will start um, at the they beginning will. of this Real Madrid era with Carlo Echelotti. Well, where's Hendrik? Uh, Hendrik's on the bench learning. <laughs> <laughs> because yeah, when yeah, Hendrik's yeah, yeah, 22, yeah. Mbappe is going to be 30. So a long time to become a really good Galactico. But this France I team, like for me, they're the favorites <laughs> with Kylian Mbappe being the best player in Euro 2024. If everything goes to plan, let's say. But Germany, yes. Germany are oh playing in home soil. Germany must be perceived as one of the main contenders towards winning Euro 2024. And I admire Julian Nagelsmann refusing to go to Bayern Munich and saying, I believe mm-hmm. in this group. And I believe I can make history. I'm with him. I think Julian Nagelsmann could win a big competition this year, 2024, or even a World Cup in the States. Who knows? But convincing Tony Kroos to come back to this team, a player with seven Champions League finals, making a bold decision, not getting Mats Hummels. It's matter of the match in the yeah. two games against PSG. Nagelsmann has fixed ideas, and with these ideas, they could win Euro 2024. So I expect Antonio Rudiger being the best center back in Euro 2024 for Germany. I expect mm-hmm. Tony Kroos, Florian Wirtz having a master class, and I expect goals from Full Cook and Kai Havertz in Euro 2024. This team has a lot of players that can make the difference, and they're scary if me Portugal, uh, us Portugal, go against them. I'm not going to be too happy if it's in the it's at, in the beginning and the knockout stages. So, and it's going right. to be Scotland, Germany, 
box office first game, maybe. Scott McTominay against yeah. Kai Havertz. Who's going to score? <laughs> I think uh, it will be Kai Havertz. Scott <laughs> Scotland needs to right the ship for that, um, for exactly. sure. Uh, but I, I don't understand, Alex, looking at this roster here, I don't understand how there is no room for Mats Hummels. Uh, um, I mean, J Jonathan Ta it's has a not locker been... Room thing. As, well, I feel like, yeah, it's a locker room thing. It's mm -hmm. almost a negative to not bring a guy like Mats Hummels in this scenario. But Nico Schlotterbeck, yes. Uh, Antonio Rudiger, sure. Right? But Robin Koch, uh, and you've got Jonathan Ta. Not too bad. Uh, Waldemar Anton. And I think a couple, you know, one of these guys might get axed back, uh, yeah. before this is fully done. But That's I just don't know how Mats Hummels is not, not here. Uh, he's better than two of those three. And who do you easily. think will start for Germany? Um, Manuel Neuer or Ter Stegen? Oh. I think it's going to be Neuer. I, 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 hmm, see, I would go with Ter Stegen here. Mm, um, but I that's, that's really interesting. I mean, if he's back, I don't he's know, man. I, I just I just watched Bayer, Bayern get four put past him. So <laughs> I, I think I've got a little bit of recency bias here. Um, Bayern were up to zip at one point, thanks to Matisse Tell, and then Hoffenheim stuck four past Emmanuel Neuer. That's so I, <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm going Ter Stegen all the way over Emmanuel Neuer. I think oh, Neuer's lost a step. I think Neuer will start in this World Cup, in this World Cup, in the Euro 2024. But yes, I mentioned yeah. Rudiger and the midfield of Germany. Germany are contenders yeah. because of this midfield with Toni Kroos, with Gundogan, with Handrich, that is a great defensive mid. We all see at Leverkusen. Jamal mm -hmm. Musiala, Pavlovich, wonder kid of Bayern Munich. Pascal Gross. Yep. Underrated Swiss Army knife from Brighton, and obviously mm -hmm. the best player in the Bundesliga, the magician, the genius Florian Wirtz. In that can be oh. one of the best players in Euro 2024, if not the best player. <laughs> Florian Wirtz for Germany, Kylian Mbappe for France. That can be a yep. final that we all see, and we're like, who's gonna win? This year of 2024. I'm not going to say Ballon d'Or. Uh, it's, it's, it's very and, early for Virts with Ballon d'Or. <laughs> it, yeah, it is. But uh, the the addition, uh, obviously, Tony Cruz, Gunduan, mm -hmm. um, Robert Andrick might actually have a very large role to play here. I think Brett's Andrick or, or Pavlovich, uh, one of them might not wind up going on the plane. Obviously, there's still some cuts that could, could be had here. Uh, but Robert Andrick has been a pleasant... I think they'll both go. Nice surprise for Leverkusen late this season. So I really do think it would be good. I think Andrik, were you about to say that he's probably going to start? I think Robert Hendrik will start for Germany in yeah. 2024 next to Toni Kroos. I think you're right, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I, I think, think Pavlovich I think, goes on the plane. Mm -hmm. Right. And I, I hope you're right in that instance, because I think they're going to need that depth there, um, because it's all about letting Wirtz and letting Musiala and cook. And Maximilian uh, Bayer and, and could be a huge. player that we all mentioned to go to a top team after year 2024. Yep. Who knows? He scores a late goal in an important game. I do believe that can be the case. No, and Thomas... Yeah, Muller, yeah, that, these veterans, like, yeah. it's it's a team that with, with a lot of players that in a the right moments, they can make the difference. So I like this. Yeah, thing. and for... For those that know the that don't know Maximilian Bayer, I mean he's one of the reasons why Bayern got cooked at the end of the <laughs> season here, four to two. Um, but it, he had 16 goals in 29 starts this season, and he's 21 years old. Uh, obviously, that skates kind of under the radar because you've got, you know, Harry Kane throwing 36 in there. You've got Se Seru uh, Girassi putting in 28 goals. Mm -hmm. um, but ultimately, for a 21-year-old, a young striker at a middle mid-table team, Hoffenheim, mm -hmm. um, that's that's a hell of a return. So it's some bold bold decisions and from... Um, has, in the past, yeah. was managed by who? Julian Nagelsmann. So I'm sure Nagelsmann it's, it's knows really well what Maximilian Bayer can do. And this German no national Goretzka. team is a contender for year 2024 as a consequence of the good good management of Dortmund, Bayer Leverkusen, and obviously Bayern Munich. They stay at the top. They must be doing things all right. So a good Bayern yeah. Munich, a good Borussia Dortmund, a good Bayer Leverkusen are the reasons why Germany are looking so strong with Julian Nagelsmann believing in this squad. So we'll very we'll interesting see. with the right momentum. And the Netherlands. Well, uh. 
Hi, the Netherlands. I feel a bit disappointed, on being honest. When I was announcing these these top 10 and I was seeing Croatia behind the Netherlands, I don't think that's the case. I think Croatia will have a better year 2024 than the Netherlands. This Coleman squad, I'm not too convinced. And if they go bold, it's because of the leadership of Van Dijk and Frank De Jong or because a Xavi Simmons, a Frank Pong really really go crazy in terms of their performances. But not having Matt Swiefer and Joshua Zerksi is two mistakes Stupid. before the plane even goes. So I don't yeah. like to see Brian Robby ahead of Joshua Zerksi. I don't believe that should be the case considering this season. Can I, yeah, I that, that's their... That's why they're eighth, uh, maybe even lower. I, I <laughs> If the right selections were made, I would have put them higher. I, I did have them originally... Uh, as kind of one of my dark horses here, but that striker yeah. force. Uh, Joshua Xerxes was definitely, um, that's just dumb. It's yeah. dumb. I mean, come on. This guy puts in double-digit goals in Syria, gets Bologna, helps Bologna back mm. to Champions League football for the first time in forever. And I just don't understand how there's not room for him beyond uh, a Bergvin, Bergvin, mm -hmm. Brian Broby. I mean, a streaky Danielle Malin, who was good for like a small moment. For You're Dortmund good. this particular season, uh, but has been off as late. Cody Gakpo sometimes looks great, sometimes looks like heck. Mm -hmm. Memphis Depay, I'm I'm kind of over him. I know he's got 44 goals for the national team, Oof. but. And then you've got Vud Veghorst. I understand why you're putting him there uh, because he's still riding the uh, the momentum of what was that? The brace against Argentina mm -hmm. in the World Cup. Um, so I just think that that's, that's going to be their largest question mark. Um, and to not bring v Mats Viefer is mm -hmm. also just one of those head scratchers. I think he deserves to be there over Ryan Gravenberg, 100%. And even the rune, I like the rune, but Weefer has had a better season than the rune. Coop Miners and the rune being there, I like how I like the Gasperini effect in this Netherlands team when I see a Coop Miners and a Marte rune being there. But I cannot agree with it. I cannot agree with Matt Weefer being with the cuts. And I and again, this Netherlands this Netherlands national team for Euro 2024, I see underrated names like Quinton Timber. I like him a lot. Coop Miners, mm -hmm. Ian Matson, that has been very important for Dortmund to be in this final. And I yeah. think that Pai is underrated for the impact he's had throughout all these years in the Netherlands national team. Fair enough. He can become, I think. Fair the, enough. It's, it's, it's <laughs> realistic to think that the Pai could become the all-time leading goal scorer of the Netherlands, no? <laughs> yeah, so it, it is. And, and Let's see. Right. Um, see. But Jeremy Frimpong, mm -hmm. love it. Uh, you mentioned uh, Mickey Van de Ven, who I think obviously had a great first real season in the Premier League, even if Spurs were mm -hmm. very interesting and infuriating at times. It, yeah. uh, but the the biggest one here, you already mentioned Ian Matson for me. Uh, what a story. I mean, mm -hmm. come on. On loan. Yeah, I think he scored on the final day today um, in the Bundesliga. Uh, a, a nice goal as well. He'll be in the UCL final, um, arguably a lot because of him. Uh, and he makes the provisional Netherlands roster mm. um, all in one season on loan uh, to Chelsea or from Chelsea. I mean, tell me another time. Uh, and I'm sure there is an instance here, but tell me another time that somebody on loan from Chelsea has obviously done as well as somebody as Ian Lukaku. Madison. and um, Lukaku <laughs> is the only one that I think that I can really think of right off the top of my head. Um, and that's one. obviously, Chelsea. He, but obviously, <laughs> right. I know. And, but obviously he was, Lukaku was obviously already a household name previous to going out on loan. So mm. I feel like that's not really the same type of thing. I mean, Ian Matson or people, um, apparently he wasn't, a, he wasn't better than Ben Chilwell or, or no, Cucarella, um, for, for him to then be sent out on loan. Um, and now, uh, to see him, I don't know if he's going to be in a Chelsea shirt next season, but I, I would I'd, I'd, for I'd, dang sure I'd be watching him closely in preseason. I'd stay at Dortmund because I think Cucurella for uh, next season at Chelsea, I think he's going to be the left back. I think Ian Matson, best thing he can do, stay so? at Dortmund. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it'd be yeah. the best choice for both. Best choice it, for it, both. The way the, uh, the way the commentators were kind of phrasing it today, um, I don't know if they've got insiders or whatever, is they were basically stating that Ian Matson likely would not be back at the Signal Aduna. 
Just um, like so, we'll we'll see. Jaden we'll, Sancho, at all yeah. the likelihood, it'll be very true. difficult to convince Man United to worth selling him. But yeah, interesting true. talk it was. Let us know. Do you do you agree? <laughs> do you disagree with our squads and with our comments about the announcements? And like this video for more Euro 2024 co uh, comments, just like this. Mm -hmm.